Hey guys, it's Michael Todd and welcome back to the, whoa, that's really cool. Hey guys, it's Michael Todd and welcome back to the Cult of Vintage. Today, you guys, we are in Lewisburg, Pennsylvania, and we happen to be at one of my most favorite places to shop, Roller Mills. Do you know what makes it even better to shop today? I have a gift card, that's right. Cindy, Cindy J's Timeless Treasures actually got me a gift card. I have yet to been able to spend this. This was for my birthday in July. <laughs> We're gonna get in here and see what we can find. I don't know if I wanna get one good thing or maybe some smaller things. I guess this stuff is gonna let us decide. I will say even though we're in here shopping for myself, we might pick up something for resale. Let's check it out, guys. All right, and we are hitting it off strong. Now this isn't Beistel or Beistel, whichever way, tomato, tomato. It is a 1950s made, quote unquote, made in the USA. Obviously, it is a die-cut skeleton. I actually really prefer these over the Beistel. Look at the size. It's not life-size. I mean, it's child-size, which is even more morbid, I guess. <laughs> Could you imagine? Um, next up, we do find a Howard Gale. Is it Howard Gale? I'm going to have to redo that. A Santa. Now, I do have one of these, and at $30, this is a fantastic price. Um, especially because of the condition. Look at the white. It's still nice and snowy white. Um, but because I already have one, I'm going to leave him behind. Though he would be good for resale. Next up, we are going to see these vintage or antique Halloween postcards. I absolutely love these. These are so difficult to find, especially at a good price. And right next to it is this giant jack-o'-lantern paper mache candy bucket. He is priced at $95, which really isn't that bad considering. Now, we did get out the Halloween postcards. Unfortunately, when I flipped it over, the vendor did note that they were reproductions. They were $4 each. And you know what? I decided to go ahead and get them because that way I don't feel as bad if I were to use them in a craft project. You know what? They're reproductions, but I don't mind. I think they're super cute. And at $4 each, I think they will make, I don't know. I don't know. I oh, They kind of are screaming, make me into something more. But then I'm like, but do I want to? I don't know. I'm There's an idea in my head. So I'm glad we got those. Let's see if we can't find anything else. Alrighty, now I do want to show you guys this really clever way of displaying all of this jewelry. It obviously is on a dress form, and the vendor then did wrap a scarf around it and attached all of the jewelry pieces to it. Um, I thought that this was a really striking display. Very easy to shop, very easy to see things. Everything has a hang tag with a price on it. Now, I know very little about jewelry again so me buying jewelry is simply would be based on the aesthetics of the overall pieces and i do know that these like metal enameled flowers are very popular they're very mid-century they're bright they're colorful they had a quick splash of color to any display um, or you could of course wear them you know, this set does have not only the brooch, but the clip-on earrings. I thought those were cute. Now, I didn't buy any jewelry because I just know so very little about jewelry. Um, again, it would be one of those things where we're, we're looking at it through the aesthetics. And I don't know what a good price point would be to buy something and then to resell. Now, here to the left... <laughs> <laughs> the other right are these green buttons i actually did consider getting these it was only three dollars um because i have a craft project that i was thinking these would go perfectly with um i would be replacing buttons but upon further reflection i decided to stick with the buttons that i do have instead of getting the green so we did leave those behind now right next door to that vendor i did see these two Let's get up close and personal. The Viking Amber Fairy Lamps. Yes, they are diamond point. Um, it was the set of two for 75, which fair enough for a collector, but you know, for me for reselling, certainly not where I would need it to be. And hey, look at that. There's another enameled flower and it's $6 still. Again, really cute, but you no, know, I just don't know. 
Next up, we do have Fry Glass. Um, it is a beautiful, yep, there you go, 1930s little casserole dish. I love this opalescent. Look at the, it's just so stunning, so striking. I absolutely love the colors on this. Right behind it is a piece of Fenton. Um, I really wasn't digging the aesthetics of that. So I did leave that one behind. Now what did catch my eye was this beautiful Amberina art glass bowl. Um, you can see there by my middle finger, there actually is an inclusion and it is a true inclusion. Um, so it's like a piece of ash had gotten stuck in the glass, but at $25 and guess what? That's right. It was 20% off at $20. I decided to take a risk and go ahead and buy it. Now, right behind this, I noticed one of my sought after items, which is a Agronaut and Agronaut is the name of the sculpt. I will mistakenly call this Fenton later on in the video. It is in fact, Westmoreland. Um, it's one of those things wherever you see, or for me, whenever I see milk glass, I always think Fenton. <laughs> now at $30, there is 10% off. This is certainly something I'm like, Ooh, is, is this what I'm going to spend my gift card on? At least part of it could be that skeleton is still weighing in the mind there folks. And right behind that, I do see these adorable little, like these, I would say are Hong Kong. They're little Mexican dolls, the boy and the girl. And at only nine 50, I was like, Oh, he kind of looks like me. <laughs> it's a mini bobblehead me doll. Um, at nine 50, it was a great price, but you know what? I, I did leave them behind because I have so much stuff, so much. Now I did spot this children's stationery set. It's only $9. I absolutely love the graphic on it. And when you open it, there are like these little notepads with these adorable little drawings on them. You have not only the cream color, look, the fairies are spoon feeding her. That's adorable. That alone was worth it. So it's in overall really good condition. There is a rip here on this, this um, pocket, but you know what? I'm willing to overlook it. The graphics are very kind of um, 1920s, 1930s is what it was really reading to me. There is no date on it. Um, oh, look, racial stereotypes. Love to teach children about those. <laughs> My God. Um, look at the little bell ringer. Adorable. A monkey on a donkey. Yeah. Okay. So we did pick this piece up for resale. Now we are, oh, look, it's September 2nd. Yeah, it's September 2nd. <laughs> the day that I'm doing this voiceover. So, of course, it's time to decorate for Halloween, folks. And I thought these were really unusual pieces and certainly something that you could put into your Halloween decor. Because we obviously always think about, you know, pumpkins and ghosts and witches and Dracula and Frankenstein. But these are a little bit more of the macabre side. And they would go perfect for your Halloween display, you know, a little hip bone action there. Hey, hey, hey. You've got these gray antique medicine bottles again, perfect for Halloween and a giant ear. I mean, what, what, what could say Halloween more than a giant ear? <laughs> Next up, I do see this green Fenton opalescent vase. It is marked as is. And I was like, why are you as is? And it's only $16. So I was like, well, this is a beautiful piece of glass, especially for Fenton at $16. It is an older piece. And it said it's on the rim. So we're going to get it up close and personal because I was like, well, let's discover it together. Do you see it? Do you see it? It says as is factory flaw on rim. And I'm like, okay. I'm like, but is the flaw so bad that I don't want to get it? I, I don't know. I'm not seeing a flaw on this. Hmm. And then I decide, let me go ahead and set the camera down because I got to figure this, this out. And there it is. You see it right there. There is seems to be a little piece of extra glass. There are little glass nubbins there left over from the mold. I was like, well, if that's it, come on. It ain't cracked. Sure. We're getting extra glass. And then I spot her and I was like, oh, sister, the day I'm having, I feel you. <laughs> okay. 
so so far we've found a few things for resale i've spotted a couple of possibilities for the gift card so we're gonna keep shopping through here and see what we can't find here's hoping i don't know i kind of i'm really digging the skeleton and i'm really digging that um the agronaut the fenton milk glass agronaut but i really kind of wanted it the most in the green and white slag glass but that white is really pretty and next, I did spot this absolutely beautiful hall, H-A-L-L. -L. It is in that gunmetal, ooh, the shell, yep, she's stamped there. The vendor did have it marked, of course, on the price tag. I loved this finish. Um, okay, there we go. Yeah, it's a seashell. I just loved, loved the glaze on this. It's very unusual. I kind of regret not getting it, but I was just like, oh... There is 15% off, but you know, I did leave it behind, guys. Look at this bad boy. Oof. Now, this one is priced at $55. When I tell you this thing is heavy, I mean, this thing is heavy. And um, I got a little obsessed with getting up close and personal on this. It is amber glass. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, it's amber. It's not. But this is done so well that I just... Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, we're, we're really up close and personal. And then I got a little obsessed. Okay. Don't play with the glass, Michael. Put it down. Put it down. Let it go. <laughs> Here we have an adorable little pink depression glass bud vase. Look at the top. This top is so unusual. I'm going to try to put it against the white here so that you can get a better look at it. It's a very Art Deco vibe to that top. It is so unusual. I have never seen a top like that before. Um, obviously, we're used to more seeing like the swung with like either the mouth or the fingers. And at $8, I bought it for its uniqueness, 100%. Now, talking about unique, look at this beauty, this great free form. Oof. Again, something, because we are entering into that fall season, um, I thought that this would go beautiful in a vignette or a display. This is something um, that I think can be left out year-round. Obviously, that green ombre into the clear, into the amber. I loved it. I love the unusual shape. Excellent condition. We're going to set it down here to get a better look at it. Look at how it's, the glass is just so shiny and sparkly and clear. The colors that are on it are very saturated. Loved it. We picked it up. I'm just all about getting up in the glasses business today, apparently. <laughs> and then I find this beauty. Look at this. It is a Vaseline glass fairy lamp. Now, I, I, I'm speechless. It is priced at $109. I initially thought um, that it was part of the sale. However, it is not. We're going to get it out. Boom. You see that lip? It's so that you can carry it around with you in the dark. I loved it. We got it. All right. So the fairy lamp was not part of the 25% off. However, given that it is Vaseline glass, given that it literally is like an antique carried around with you, we bought it anyhow. And up next, we are checking out another booth at 25% off. And, ooh, ooh, the Sting. I actually wanted to get this. It was priced at just $12. Now, this piece did, in fact, have the additional discount. I don't know. Life distracted me for some reason, and I forgot about it. And I'm very upset because I think it is absolutely beautiful. It's very much in a marigold kind of carnival to mimic, like, a um, abalone show. Now, this is a Hazel Atlas pitcher in the Cobalt. It is priced at $199 with 25% off. I just sold one, I think, for like $50 or $60. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This great native ceramic planter, it was priced at $18, but uh, it was so large. I love to pick up um, native decor pieces. They're, I don't know. I just, I adore them. I appreciate them. Um, I loved the very art deco style and coloring to it, but I did decide to leave this one behind. I did. Yeah. 
And now it's time for a fashion show. I went upstairs and this vendor has all of these great men's accessories, including hats. And y'all know I love a hat. So we're going to we're going to try on a few. Um, yeah, no, not really digging it. it. It's a little too poofy up top. And, you know, and then. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, oh, goodness. Yeah, no. Oh, I kind of liked it. And then I didn't like it. And then I was like, oh, my head looks huge in this. <laughs> Now we have Dolly Dingle paper dolls here. This again is a reproduction set. Um, however, even the reproduction is vintage at 1979 or made in 1979. You can see there are blank pages because it very much was meant to be cut out. There is a Halloween, there is Christmas. I absolutely love this. I think that it was, it, it was just so adorable. Um, very Campbell soup babies, right? Look at that Christmas one. The Christmas one sealed the deal for me. Um, so I did go ahead and decide to pick this one up. We're going to go through and look. The Fourth of July, Thanksgiving. And there are her playmates, Dolly Dingle's playmates. Yeah, we, we went ahead and picked it up. Oh, look at that. Celebrating Christmas during wartime. Yeah. The wartime style. <laughs> Jeez. Look at that. Oh, you get a paper doll Christmas tree. You can cut out the little ornaments. That, yeah, I was like, we're getting it. And you guys, I decided to go back and get the Westmoreland Agronaut. Now, I am still, of course, looking for the green and white slag glass, but this milk glass one will do in the meantime. Thank you, Cindy. We're going to wrap it up here. Well, guys that was it i had a really good time i hope you guys enjoyed yourself um i of course want to thank cindy so very much you know what you gave me a gift card lady but today i really needed an excuse and a reason to get out to get going to get filming and you really provided me that today so for that i cannot thank you enough um you are a true friend now I am going to make sure to drop Cindy's Instagram link down below in the description as well as her Etsy store down below. I'm also going to go ahead and drop a little eye card right up here into the corner, bloop, right in there somewhere-ish or over here. I don't know where it's going to show up. Um, and that is going to allow you the opportunity to check out Rust and Shine, which is actually where Cindy has her booth in Williamsport, Pennsylvania. So make sure you check all of those things out. If you're not following Cindy on Instagram, please do so. Um, and definitely check out her Etsy shop. Oh, and um, yes, I did. Thank you, Cindy. And as always, guys, until next time, remember, keep it rusty, crusty, and dusty. Bye, guys.